All right, where's my little tag along? Come on, take along. Let's go. All right, so as I promised you guys, we can show you my favorite way to cook okra. And I thought we gotta start out here with my own okra patch and see how our okra is doing. We are a little bit behind. You can see it's not very tall this year, pretty stunted. It will get a little bit taller. We still got like a month or so to go. And we do have a little bit of flowers right here. We've got some over here that are starting to form. So we're gonna be in the okra real soon here, which makes me super excited. All right, you ready to go cook? You ready to go cook? Might as well give you guys a nice little glance at the garden. It's actually been doing very, very well. Things are starting to really take off. A lot of good growth right in this general area. Mostly everything close to the greenhouse, kind of the zone one of the garden, <laughs> is doing really well. The further out you go, that's where the groundhogs were eating stuff. So you can see the biggest difference when you get out here. These beds look pretty empty. Now some of these did have garlic and we've replanted them. So we are waiting for things to happen to come back up. A lot of greens and stuff, a lot of greens and stuff like that back there, but it'll get there eventually. But that's not why you're here. You're here because you want to know the best way to cook your okra. And I'm telling you, it is good. You guys are gonna love it. Let's head inside and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna need, how we're gonna get going. All right, so welcome to our kitchen. But we're not gonna do most of the cooking, we're gonna do it outside. But right now, we're gonna show you everything we got because this is what you're gonna need to make yourself some delicious, delicious grilled okra. You putting it all in the bowl? Yeah. All right, keep going. All right, so what you're gonna need is a good handful of okra, enough to cook. We got a couple other veggies from the garden that we're gonna be grilling up here. We need some olive oil. And then this is my cheat code for delicious okra right here. It's Creole seasoning. You ready? Ugh. And you'll need a couple skewers. <laughs> so I like to use the Zetaran's Creole sauce because it's just like a, uh, it's a big cheat code basically. What it is is like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, uh, paprika, red pepper flakes, all of that mixed into deliciousness. This right here is the seasoning that's going to put your okra over the top. Oh. Can you say Creole? Yeah. Creole. Yeah. Creole. Are you ready to season some okra? Yeah. All right. So first we're gonna need a big old bowl so we can mix our okra with a little bit of this olive oil in it. And if you are gonna use a bowl, the fancier, the more Martha Stewarty. So da, go da, da, da. So we're just gonna take our okra, whole pots and all, toss them into our bowl. Yeah. Keep going. Add a generous amount of olive oil. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And toss. Toss them till we coat them really, really good. And then we're gonna add the seasoning. You ready? You wanna pour it? All right, ready? Pour it, help me pour it. All right, a little bit more, hit the bottom. Got it? All right, let's season them up. Season them up. Generous amount of seasoning. Shake, 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 shake. All right, now we gotta mix them. Oh, 
this is the part where we need the skewers. We're just gonna pop it through the sides of our okras. Bap. Pop. Leave it, don't touch it. No. Doesn't that just look good? We got our big old bowl of veggies here. It's time to head outside. Now all you barbecue and grill purist, just go ahead and uh, avert your eyes right now because we doing this King of the Hill style right here. Here you go. I thought you might enjoy 7.5 gallons of pure premium propane. Are you kidding? No, I cook with mesquite. Give me nice taste of wood. And I cook with propane. Gives meat nice taste of meat. Now I am sure that charcoal does taste so much better than propane, but that just ain't my life. If I had enough time to sit and start charcoal in the middle of the week after work, I'd have an entirely different kind of life, wouldn't I? Yeah. All right guys, so we got our delicious looking skewers of okra that we coated with olive oil and that awesome Creole seasoning. And you can make that at home if you want by yourself or you can just buy the nice can because that's easy. <laughs> and this is it, literally. We're gonna toss these on the grill. Bam! Now we just gotta wait. We get a little bit of char black on them. We're gonna flip them a couple times, make sure we get both sides really cooked. And as you can see, I'm barbecuing some chicken. So I can actually say I am barbecuing for once in my life. So my wife is from Georgia and she taught me a lesson very early in our relationship because up here we just call everything barbecuing. And she said no. That's not how it works. It's only barbecuing if you involve barbecue sauce. So now I had to remember to differentiate myself between grilling and barbecuing. So that right there, that is the kind of char you want on it right there. That little bit of like smoky black, that is mwah, perfection. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to barbecue sauce, I'm very liberal with it on my chicken. Smother it a few times every time I flip it. How many of you guys had to have a adult beverage every time you grill? It's impossible not to. Triple jam cider, guys. From a local, very, very big now, cider mill. They used to be really small when I was a kid and they blew up. You guys know it's almost cider mill time too. <laughs> All right, look at that. Final product guys, this is a meal straight from the garden. Well actually, this is a meal from my parents' garden. So I used to do this series called, what did you eat today from your garden? So I guess today we're doing, what did we raid and eat from my parents' garden? <laughs> but if you're looking for a good way to cook your okra, guys, I'm telling you, this is absolutely killer. It is a game changer for using a lot of that okra out all throughout the season because we all know it produces a ton but that's all i got for you guys remember be bold and grow bold and as always see you guys in that next video